Hello everyone and welcome back to Mary's Creative Decor. Hello everyone. We're going to be starting today on a mirror clock. So I purchased this clock from IKEA and I want to say it was two to three dollars. Now it is plastic, it's wrapped. Um, I haven't unwrapped it yet, but if you look at it, it has little beautiful numbers on it and they are like drilled out, have holes. So we'll be using this clock today. I also have a large flower wreath that I got from Dollar Tree. We'll be using that on today. I have mirror tiles in one inch and two inches. I'll be using those on today. I have some sequins wrap, jewel wrap, diamond wrap, and I got this from Dollar Tree. We'll be using this today. I have my hot glue gun. I have some Gorilla Stick. And my Gorilla Glue, I'm sorry. And I also have these um, smaller wreaths. They were two for a dollar at Dollar Tree. So we'll be using this on today. Now, I have two of the Dollar Tree five inch mirrors. We'll be using those on today. And the last thing we'll be using is this bright silver metallic paint by Rust-Oleum. So, we're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna get started on this project. So, I wanna take my wreaths outside and spray paint them with the silver paint and I shall return. I'm back and my wreaths have been painted. Now I want to separate my clock. I wanna take the cover off the back of the clock. I purchased some one and a half to five milliliters diamond blings and I want to take the three millimeters and I want to add it to the little cutaway dots on my clock. Once again, I'm checking to make sure the rim will go around the base of the clock. Now I'm just going to take my Gorilla Glue and I am going to glue these little gems to each one of those little cutaways on the numbers on the clock. I'm sorry if you hear background noises, it's because I'm in my bedroom and I do have the patio door open. So forgive me for the background noise. making sure that you clean up any excess glue from the clock. Now this is what the gems look like on the clock. Now I'm ready to glue the wreath to the clock. Mm -hmm. 
I don't have the actual footage of me gluing the reef to the clock or the clock to the reef, but I did use my Gorilla Glue as well as the hot glue to hold the reef to the clock until it dries. Once I secured the base to the reef, I'm clicking the plexiglass back to the top of the clock. And now we're ready to move on to adding our two inch mirrors to the reef. So now that I've figured out my layout, I'm gonna take my Gorilla Glue sticks and my hot glue gun, and I'm going to begin securing the mirrors to the bottom of the reef. Now that I have my two inch mirrors on the bottom wire of the reef, I'm ready to cover up the downward wire and I'm going to use this diamond wrap. And I'll be using just one row. Now we're ready to add our one inch mirror, mirrors to the second and the top row of the reef. And I'll be using my hot glue gun to secure them in place. Okay, I got the second row done and this is what it's looking like. And now I'm ready to fill in the gap. So the middle of the ring that's touching the clock where I glued it, I am also going to add a one inch mirror all around. Making sure that it can rest on the middle mirror and I'll show you how this is accomplished so I noticed the camera is a little out of focus so to let you know what I'm doing I'm putting a bead of glue on one end of the one inch mirror placing it on the ring then I'm adding a second bead of glue on the other end as it touches the wire and this is what my clock look like once all my mirrors are secured To the back the side. side now we and just I want to flip just our make sure over that to the back side my mirrors are and we want to use tightly. a stronger, so stronger to make sure I'm gonna go that back all of our and I'm going to use a well heavier glue inch, or stronger adhesive and put on the back side of the mirror now you can use the 6000 you can use the gorilla glue or whatever glue you prefer and this is again just to secure the mirrors to the wires of the reef I am back and here is my smaller reef. I secured my two inch mirror just like I did on the larger reef to the bottom wire and my one inch mirror to the top wire. Now I'm ready to add my four inch mirror. As you can see it is too small so what I decided to do was take some poster board. I drew larger circles on the poster board. I will cut them out and then glue my four inch mirror to that. Now 
Before I glue my mirror to the poster board, I want to make sure that I paint it. Once I paint it, I'm going to take my Gorilla Glue as well as some hot glue and I am going to glue my mirror to the center of the poster board. Then I want to take my flower bling wrap and I want to use my Gorilla Glue and I want to glue the flower bling wrap around the mirror. Now that the bling wrap is added, we're ready to put the wreath around the mirror. And I'm go going to use my, once again, Gorilla Glue to secure it in place. And all I'm doing is going around the outside of the bling wrap and securing the wire to the poster board. I'll also use my hot glue gun to give it a faster hold. I'll let this dry and then I'll clean up my mirror and add a hanger on the back. I'm flipping my mirrors over. I'm going to add these little silver picture hooks. They push in, but I'm going to secure them with a little hot glue. And we'll be back for the reveal. And here is my wall clock completed. Absolutely beautiful. This clock will work in any room in your home whether it is a living room, a bedroom, or a dining room. It is absolutely stunning. And trust me, the camera don't even do it justice. Absolutely love this clock. So if you're not a subscriber and you're watching, now is the time to do so hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to share it with your friends and family. And make sure you come back next week to see what I have for you next. Just look at the rhinestones on the numbers. Absolutely stunning. As you can see on the smaller mirror, the flower bling wrap around the outside of the four inch mirror gives it such a glam look. I want to say thank you all for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful day. God bless and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.